In this video, we'll work on nine background ideas of PUMAC, Princeton University Mathematics Competition 2022, and the ideas are same as 2021, and you can prepare for 2023, 2024, and so on. We will work on some problems, on one problem that is in common in algebra, division A and division B, combinator is number theory, and so on. The ideas, nine ideas are squares, drawing graph, something about quadratic equations, formula, we, we, these two, we can consider these two as one idea related to quadratic equations and some other things. Then an important idea in graph that some of degrees equal twice number of edges, this identity, little Fermat theorem, Euclid's lemma, and also I leave, uh, let me write, and I leave three homeworks. And as I said in my previous videos, there are around 40, 50 important ideas and formulas in each of the combinators, algebra, number theory, geometry. If you want to learn them, feel free to send a message to my WhatsApp number in the description. Okay, so let's work on them. Also, if you want to prepare for AMC, Amy, use some of list the full solutions of last exams of those competitions if you want to prepare for them or any other math exam as i said before send message to my whatsapp number okay pumac algebra b 2022 try first let's see here problem number three okay because problem number three is same as al algebra a here, algebra A problem number one, okay? So try to solve this problem is a common problem in algebra A and B. Try this one first on your own.
Okay, let's try this problem together. Algebra B problem three, problem three, and algebra A problem one. So here we can say what f of x greater than or equal to g of x. f of x is this, g of x is this. So let's check it. Is it correct or not? Uh, x squared minus two x plus five should be greater than or equal always one minus x squared. So it is what. 2x squared, if you take these two things to left side, minus 2x plus 4 greater than or equal to 0. And it is equivalent that x squared minus x plus 2 greater than or equal to 0. And this one is equivalent that x minus 1 half, 1 half squared, 1 fourth plus 7 over 4 greater than or equal to 0. Obviously, it is great because it's at least 0 in this. So, idea one is this when you want to prove something. Try to use squares. Okay, like this. This is square. And now we want to find h of x. So f of x is what? x squared minus 2x plus 5. It is f of x. Greater than equal h of x. h of x is what? mx plus k. g of x is what? 1 minus x squared. So we want to see all good slopes. So means which for for example if you want to say one m is god if you find at least one k that is good it will be okay now another thing that for understanding problem better we, we found that also in this problem we can solve but this idea so much is so drawing graph in amc 20 in amc we have this idea from amc 10 12 also the one problem let me tell you one problem from amc and AMC 12 and also Amy problem. Amy problem was a problem. It was absolute value of something, something equals uh, one, something like this, 21. And then it says, okay, how many, for example, in which parts we have these number of solutions. Okay, if you want to know exact problems or what, as I said before, feel free to send message to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments. Okay, so let's draw these two functions x squared minus 2x plus 1, 5, f of x is x minus 1 squared plus 4. Okay, so the vertex will be 1, 4, and y-intercept x0 is 5. Okay, so it will be something like this. And g of x is 1 minus x squared, so the roots are plus minus 1, and the vertex is x0, y1. And it opens down because the coefficient of this is negative idea 3. When you have ax squared plus bx plus c, when you draw the diagram, if a is positive, it opens up. If a is negative, it opens down. So here, a is negative, opens down, opens up. Now it says, okay, for which of these things there is a good line? So look for some here by this slope, a good line. But for example, by this slope, it is uh, probably we cannot find a good thing. Okay, but for example, look, this slope is good. Why? Because if you shift it like this, it will be good. How we can shift? By k. Okay, so now we want to see which m's are good. So for all x, it should be correct. Let me consider first inequality, second inequality. If we consider first inequality, x squared minus 2x plus 5 should be greater than or equal mx plus k. For these types of problems, you should take all things to one side, x squared, um, plus minus 2 minus m times x plus 5 minus k. For all x, it should be greater than or equal to 0. So let me tell you idea 3. When one polynomial is always greater than or equal to 0, uh, the idea is what, for example, f of x, degree 2, in general, let me tell you p of x, because here we have f of x when the degree is 2. Mm. So if it is always greater than or equal to 0, we can conclude. Delta or discriminant is less than or equal to 0, and a coefficient of a squared is greater than 0. So it will be like this, okay? Now use this and try to analyze this, then try to analyze 2 and find all m's. Try first on your own.
Okay, so here if you check, A is positive, A is 1. So the only thing that we should check, delta or this current should be less than or equal to 0. So negative 2 minus M whole squared minus 4 times A times C. 5 minus K should be less than or equal to 0. It is the first condition. Now let's consider second one. Second one is mx plus k greater than or equal to 1 minus x squared. So from second one, mx plus k is greater than or equal to 1 minus x squared. So we can take negative x squared to the left hand side, x squared plus mx plus k minus 1 greater than or equal to 0. Again, this one should be positive. Greater than or equal to 0, we use idea 3. And we can conclude what? Delta or this current a is 1 positive. That our discriminant should be less than or equal to 0. So we can conclude m squared minus 4 times 1 times k minus 1 is less than or equal to 0. Okay. Now we should find m's are good that we can find a good k. Means what? Here, look, instead of negative 2 minus m, because we have square, we can negate inside the base. It's 2 plus m whole squared. Negative 20. And okay, negative 4 times 5, 20 plus 4k less than or equal to this one is what m squared minus 4k plus 4 less than or equal to So here we can conclude m squared plus 4 is less than or equal to 4k. Here we can say 4k less than or equal to 20 minus 2 plus m whole squared. So if, if there exists good k, it will be good. So we should find a k that satisfies these two inequalities. How we, we have this k when this one is less than or equal to this? If m squared plus 4 less than or equal 20 minus 2 plus m all squared, it will be good. Okay, so try to solve the rest on your own first.
Okay, so let's consider this one. m squared plus 4 is less than or equal 20 minus 4 minus m squared minus 4f. So if you take to left hand side, it's 2m squared plus 4m. And uh, negative 4 and 4 it will be 8. Negative 20, negative 12, less than or equal 0. So here, m squared plus 2m minus 6 less than or equal 0. If we divide. Okay, now, again, another idea, idea 3, idea 4. When we have, and it opens up, if you want to consider, it opens up because the coefficient is positive. When you want to find when it is less than or equal to zero, so between these two roots, it is less than or equal to zero. So we should use quadratic formula. Idea five quadratic formula is what if you have ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, then x equals negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus four ac, and inside square root is discriminant over two a. So here m equals the roots negative two plus minus two squared four. Minus 4 times this, which will be 24, over 2a to 1. So it's negative 2 plus minus square root of 28 over 2. So it is negative 1 plus minus square root of, if you take 2 inside square root, it will be 4, 7. So this one is negative 1 minus root 7. This one is negative 1 plus root 7. Okay, so it says the interval is what? The interval is a, b. So a is the interval a and b equals negative 1 minus root 7, negative 1 plus root 7, okay? And then the problem says find a to the 4 plus b to the 4. Okay, if you want to calculate this, okay, so let's write a is this one, negative 1, negative root 7, because we raise to the power of even number, we negate this one. Both of them correct. a to the 4 equals negative a to the 4, negative 1 plus, or we can write root 7 minus 1. Root 7 minus 1 to the 4. Okay, root 7 to the power of odd number, uh, neg 1 to the power of odd number, it will be cancelled, okay? So you should calculate only even cases. So we can say um, 2 times root 7 to the 4, plus 2 times 4 choose 2 times root 7 squared, plus... 2 times 1, okay? So it's root 7 to the 0 times... If you calculate this, it will be what? If you factor from 2, root 7 to the 47 squared, it's 49. It's 6 times 7, 42. 2 times 1, 1. 49 plus 1 is 50. 50 plus 42 is 94. 92, sorry. 92. And it's 184. So the answer is this. Okay. And we've considered four or five ideas in this problem. If you want to learn more ideas in algebra or number theory, geometry, combinatorics, as I said before, feel free to send a message to my WhatsApp number in the description comments. Okay. Okay, now combinatorics part. First problem of combinatorics A, division A, is equal to third problem, combinatorics division B. Okay, let's try this one. Both of them are same. Let's try one problem. Try this problem first on your own.
Okay, so here, if we consider, let's solve this one or let's draw here. Here it says what? We have five villages and three cities. So C1, C2, C3, and V1, V2, V3, V4, V5. Okay. Now, okay, V4, V5. It says there is at most one road between any two settlements. Okay, any city has exactly three roads connected to it. So here we have three, here we have three, here we have three. And any village has exactly one road connected to this. So one, 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 one. And any two settlements are connected by a path of road. So if we connect V1 to V2, for example, so the degree is one, the degree is one, it is not connected to any other thing. So from V1, for example, you cannot go to V3. We don't have a path of roads. So VIs are connected to CIs, okay? Now, if we consider this part, C1, C2, C3, we have some edges. How many edges do we have between these things? One, two, three, four, five, because we have five. Now let's consider here. Suppose we have A edges here. Uh, one important idea is, let me see, idea what it will be. Okay, idea six. Some of the degrees, degrees are the lines, edges connected to a vertex. DA, D1, D2 to Dn is twice number of edges because we calculate each edge twice. Now, if you pay attention, this approach is important. Look, for example, here. Sum of degrees equal to what? 1 plus 2 plus 1. 1 plus 2 plus 1. Equals 2 times 2. Because when you say 1, this edge. 1, this edge. 2, these two edges. So we calculate each edge twice. By this approach, when we consider some of these degrees, 3 plus 3 plus 3. We calculate edges here twice. 2a plus these edges once, because from this side, 5. So 3 plus 3 plus 3, 9. 2a plus 5, 9. If you subtract 5, it will be 4, 2a. So a equals 2. Okay. So we conclude that here we have two edges. So let me consider this part. This one, this one. Let me select this. Okay. Now if we select C2, C3, we have two edges. It will be something like this, okay? Then this one, C1, is connected to two of them, this one to one of them, this one to two of them. Okay. Now let's count. At first, these two edges, it, uh, one of them is connected to, to the other two vertices, to the other two cities. For example, here C2. So you say three choose one. Now the one that, for example, C1 here connected to two of uh, the villages. So five choose two. So when we connect it, for example, with our loss of geometry to V1, V2, then three villages are left. For C2, you say three choose one. For example, to this one, with our loss of geometry, then two are left, two choose two for C3. Okay, like this. And it satisfies all the conditions. So it will be what? Three, five choose two is 10 times three times one. It's 90. So the answer is 90. Okay. It is a bit related to graph ideas. I told you this idea. We have some problems related to graphs. If you want to learn them or other ideas, as I said before, feel free to send a message to our WhatsApp number in the description comments. Okay. Okay. Now, geometry division A. This problem is same as. Geometry division B, problem three. Okay, so for A, it is division A, it is Q1. Okay, so try this problem first on your own.
Okay, let's draw this. It says circle gamma is centered at 0, 0 uh, in the plane with radius 20, 20, 2 root 3. So let's draw this circle. It will be something like this. Okay. And so it is our first circle. 20, 20, 2 root 3. And circle omega is centered on the x-axis passes through the point A6066 and 0. Okay, this one is circle gamma, this one circle omega, and this point is 6066. Okay. And intersects gamma orthogonally at the point P. And we have two intersections. It says y is greater than 0, so here. If the length of the minor arc AP on omega can be expressed as m pi over n for relatively prime integers m and n, find m and n. Okay, and it says two circles intersect orthogonally at the point P. If the tangent lines at P form a right angle. Okay, so if we draw this, because we know the tangent line here, this one and this one, are perpendicular and we know. If you connect this, this one is perpendicular. So it will be one line and this one also will be one line. Okay. Now it is O, O1. Let's consider it's O1. O, R, R, O, P is what? 20, 22 root 3. Now you can use, by using Pythagorean theorem, you can calculate R. Try this one first on your own.
Okay, for calculating R, uh, we know here it is 90 degrees because they are also going to be intersect. So if you want to find R, let me calculate. We know OP squared plus R squared in triangle OO1P equals OO1 squared. OP squared is what? It's 22, 2022 root 3. Whole squared plus R squared. O1 is what? Is this one minus R. It's 60, 66 minus R. Okay, now one equation, one variable. We can find that. So we can say 23 times 20, 22 whole squared equals 60, 66 minus R whole squared minus R squared. Now we can use the identity A squared minus B squared. Okay, idea 7. For a n minus b n, we can use a minus b in general here for 2. a n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 b, 2 b n minus 1. So here we can say it is this minus this, 60, 66 minus 2 r, uh, minus r minus r minus 2 r, this minus r plus r, 60, 66, okay. Now, if you simplify both sides by, if you divide both sides by 60, 66, it will be 20, 22. Here we can cancel. It's 60, 66 minus 2R. If we take this here and this here, 2R equals 40, 44. So R equals 20, 22. Okay. So because R is 20, 22, we can find... Uh, when we want to find AP, we should find this angle, okay? Now we know the sides of this triangle. This triangle is what? Let me see. Here, if we draw, R is 2022, OP is 2022, root 3, and this one, O1, is what? Is 6066 minus R, which is 4044. So this one is 30 degree, half of this 60 degree. So this angle is 120 degree. 120 degree is 120 degree. We want to find the length. 120 degree over 360 times the perimeter of this circle, which is 2 pi r. r is 20, 22 here. So then we cancel. It is 3. If we divide by 3, 6, 22, 7. 12, 4, then 2 times that, 8, 14, 3 pi. And because it says you should write it as this, m pi over n, m plus n is what? So m plus n is 1348 plus 1, which is 1349. Okay. In geometry, there are around here, Pythagorean theorem useful. There are around 40, 50 important formulas and also other topics. If you want to learn them, feel free to send a message to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments. Okay. Okay, now for number theory, division A, uh, we want to solve first problem in division B. Let's see, it is which problem? It is problem three. Okay. So in division A, it is Q1. So try this problem first on your own.
Okay, it says find the sum of all prime numbers p such that p divides this. Okay. When p divides this, because we know p divides these parts, so it is equivalent that p divides 20 to the power of p squared plus p plus 2 plus 4 times. Here, these are 0 mod p, 22 p squared minus p plus 4. Now, because we have power, let me tell you something that's so much useful. Uh, little Fermat's theorem. As idea, as idea 8, little Fermat's theorem is what if p is prime, and general form of that is Euler's theorem. If p is prime and GCD of a and p is 1, so a to the p minus 1 is congruent to 1 mod p. Okay. If you want to know the reason or proof or solve more, more problems with this idea, feel free to send a message to my WhatsApp number in the description comments. Okay. Now that we know this, we know 20. Uh -huh. At first, we should check uh, which primes, because it's 20 and 22, uh, we should check first prime 2, because it's not relatively prime, with this and 5, and here 11. We should check these primes first. So look, 2 divides this one, and this one is good. 5 divides only this one, doesn't divide this one, so it's bad. 11 divides this one, doesn't divide this one, so it will be bad. Now, P is not these numbers. P is not 2, 5, 11. So we can use little Fermat's theorem. So the power when 20 raised to the power of P minus 1, it will be 1. So we should find the remainder of the power when divided by P minus 1. P squared plus P plus 2 when divided by P minus 1. We know that p is 1 mod p minus 1. Okay, why? Because p minus 1 is multiple of p minus 1 by the definition of modulo. So p is 1, so you can replace p with 1. 1 squared plus 1 plus 2, 4. So by this one, we can conclude p divides when it is not 2, 5, 11. p divides 20 to the power of 4. What about this one? Similarly, p is 1 mod p minus 1. 1 minus 1 plus 4. It will be 4 plus 4 times 22 to the power of 4. So P should divide this. Let me write it here. P divides 20 to the 4 plus 4 times 22 to the 4. Now we factor from 2 to the 6. Here it's 20 is 4 times 5, 2 to the 8. So it's 2 squared times 5 plus 4 is uh, two, has 2 squared, 2 to the 4, 2 to the 6, 11 squared. Now because we know P and 2 are relatively prime, P is odd. We can say this idea, idea 9, uh, Euclid's lemma, obvious lemma. Euclid's lemma is what? If A divides BC and GCD of A and B is 1, then what divides what? A divides C, because A and B are relatively prime, they don't have any common factors. So P is odd because P is not 2 or 5 or 11, because P is not 2, P and 2, and P is prime, P and 2 are relatively prime, so P divides 2 squared. Times, uh -huh, here, sorry, 5 to the 4. Times 5 to the 4 plus 11, uh -huh, here also 11 to the 4, sorry. 11 to the 4. Okay, let's calculate this part. This one is what? 25, 0, 0. 11 to the 4 is 1 to 1, 11 squared squared. So 1 to 1 times 1 to 1 is 1 to 1, 2, 4, 2, 1 to 1. So it will be 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. And P divides 1, 4, 1, 4. 5 plus 6, 11. We have 1, 1 plus 2, 3. 3 plus 4, 7. And okay, 4 digits and 1. Okay, so P divides this number. Now we should check divisibility of this number by other prime numbers. Is it multiple of 3? Okay, so try to factorize this first on your own.
Okay, if you check prime numbers to prime factorize this number, it will be 61 as a hint. Look, because there is no way to prove that the prime number, a number is prime on, uh, the only way is to check divisibility up to square root of that. And because that's hard, 90% we can understand, uh, it is multiple of a prime less than this. And it's the composite numbers. So it's 61 times 281. Okay, so the good primes are 261 to 81. It says sum of them equals what? 1 plus 1, 2 plus 2, 4. 8 plus 6, 14. And 1 plus 2, 3. So the answer is 3, 4, 4. Okay. If you want to learn other ideas, Lila Fermat's theorem, Euler's formula, Euler's torsion function, lots of techniques in GCD and other problems when the product is x squared or something like that, Feel free to send message to my WhatsApp number in the description comments.